Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to unbox some really cool books, and technically, uh, part of the unboxing has actually already happened because of everything that is happening in the world. I tend to unbox the books, at least the outer wrapping, uh, dispose of everything, clean things on the inside, or at least disinfect things on the inside, just to make sure that we don't introduce anything here in the house. I've said all of that to say that I have some books over here that I'm going to show you. Stay tuned for the video. All right, so I have an awesome stack of books that are sitting off to my left. And nope, that would be my right. So I have some I have some awesome books that are sitting off to my right that I want to show you. And some of these books actually came from one of my local comic shops. Uh, the comic shop is Crush Comics. The owner or the co-owner is somebody that you've probably seen here on the channel before, a guy by the name of Josh. So I placed an order uh, with Josh and then they had this auction and I then had him package up all my books and send everything over to me, including my auction win. So I want to show you guys all of those books. Many of these are new books, uh, but... Um, I'm also going to show you some books that arrived from Matt Woods, and it's basically an A-OK. -okay. I have no clue what's inside of it. There are two Gemini shippers that are sitting off to my right that we'll also open up and we'll see what's inside. So this very first book is my auction win, and it's actually a pretty cool book in my opinion. It's a pretty cool book. It is a uh, David Finch uh, cover. It is Wolverine number two is a variant featuring, again, cover art by David Finch. It's a really cool cover. Uh, issue two wasn't that good of a read. I think issue one was much, much better. Issue two wasn't bad, just wasn't as good. But I saw this cover and I had to have the book. Uh, and so it was definitely for a good cause. Definitely a really cool cover. So definitely pleased to have this one in the collection. The rest of these, I think, are mostly uh, new books. So this is uh, Hellions number one. If you have not yet read Hellions, I definitely want to encourage you to read it. Uh, I have a feeling that there are ample copies out there, uh, but but I enjoyed Hellions. That is one title that I enjoyed. Uh, this next one, which is a giant size, a nightcrawler, still have not read this book but I hope to get to it. I now have two copies of it, uh, one from each one of the comic shops that are nearby. But uh, I'm looking forward to reading this. And, and if you look very closely, you can see some figures in the background there. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what those, those folks have to do with this particular story. Uh, here's another copy of Wolverine 2. So I had the variant and then a couple of copies of the regular uh, cover A. Not even sure who did this one. Oh, Andy Kubert. Andy Kubert did that one. Nice. Here is uh, X-Men Fantastic Four. This is a crossover uh, by Chip Zdarsky. He's doing a pretty good job writing this one. I enjoyed uh, the first couple of issues of this one, and I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one. Chip Chip does a pretty good job, I think. Here's issue number nine of X-Men, a title that I've been reading since issue number one. Enjoying it. Uh, this one, I've already read it. It's actually a pretty solid issue as well. Here is uh, one of the covers. I don't know which cover this is. Um, is that Neil Adams? I think that may say Neil Adams. I need to look a little closer at that. Here is um, issue number five of Philadelphia. This is a series, again, that I've been reading, that I've been enjoying uh, from, from Image. They are doing a really, really good job with their books. So enjoying those. Here is issue number... 33 or legacy number 750, which might explain the size of Immortal Hulk right there. Very interesting that uh, now the legacy number appears. I don't know that I've ever noticed the legacy number on previous issues of Immortal Hulk. Uh, maybe they did that because it's actually a pretty, you know, interesting um, 
milestone, that being the 750th episode, uh, issue. So here is uh, issue number uh, 42 of 42. Yeah, 42 of Amazing Spider-Man. And this is legacy number 843. They, they've been having the legacy numbers on here, but I've never noticed them on Immortal Hulk. Another fantastic title. Fantastic. X-Force. X-Force number nine. Uh, I'm really enjoying like Domino in, in this story arc. I'm really enjoying uh, her character and everything that she's going through. Never was really a big fan of Kid Omega, to be honest with you. I think Kid Omega was kind of introduced when I was away from comics, but I'm really enjoying like <laughs> how he is represented in, in the, the X-Force book because he is actually part of the team. So as I mentioned, Two Gemini shippers right here from a man, Matt Woods. And uh, it says, Reggie, not sure if you have these. Please put them in your PC or pass them on to the community. There you go. So I have his permission. All right. So let's see uh, what he put inside. And uh, we'll, we'll open these up. Some painter's tape here, which I'm a huge fan of, as you guys know. So the outer boxes for all of these have already been uh, disposed of. So we are going to open this up as soon as I, there it is, okay. As soon as I figure it out and uh, we'll see what is inside. Open this up. Painter's tape all inside. Oh man, all right, cool, 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 cool. I don't know that I've seen that one. All right, so let's, uh, some good painter's tape in the inside here, holding everything in place, making sure nothing slides around inside the box. So we'll move this painter's tape here and we'll see what my man has sent over to me. All right, so the very first thing, are these, in? yeah, very first thing in here that I pulled out right on top is Spider-Man and the Black Cat. It's actually in pretty nice shape from Terry Dodson, it looks like. This is actually in pretty nice shape. I don't know that I've seen this title before. I don't know that I've seen. The Evil That Men Do, issue number four, right there. Really nice copy. That, that uh, cover does not appear to be a standard cover. I think it may be a little, little card stock. That is... Uh, it looks it looks sturdy. It looks sturdy. <laughs> Here is issue number five: Spider Man and the Black Cat. Um. All right, it is uh, Nightcrawler in an interesting embrace with the Black Cat. That's interesting. There you go. Issue number five of six, and you can probably guess what comes next. This is Spider Man and the Black Cat. Issue number six of six. It's a cool cover right there. I definitely dig that one. I dig that one. This is this is a scene that I'm accustomed to seeing. This is not a scene that I'm accustomed to seeing. No, 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 no. So uh, some cool books right there. And the huge shout out to my man, uh, Matt Woods, for hooking me up with this. Matt just recently completed an amazing transformation of his, his comic book room. And he was working with his son, Spencer, to, uh, to update and enhance his room. If you guys haven't seen the video footage of him walking through the room, talking about all of the things that, that he and Spencer worked on, I uh, definitely encourage you to check him out and see what that video is all about. It was a very, very creative approach to a comic book room. So uh, if you have a comic book room, it may inspire you. You may be able to pick up a couple of really cool ideas to implement in your own space. And if you don't have your own space or comic book room, still a cool video to check out to, to see the imagination uh, that he had and how he brought it to life. And I don't know, it's just, I thought it was a really cool video. So shout out to him. Uh, you know what, I do have this title. And it's this book right here that just brought it back for me right there. I have a version of this in, maybe they repurposed this cover. I need to look. Now I need Now I need to go digging. Uh, this is Spider-Man and the Black Cat issue number one. I swear that I've seen this cover pose right here on something else, but I don't remember some of this. So they may have repurposed the artwork. I want to go. I want to go dig into a band. Each one of these is really, really nice. I don't think that these covers are uh, standard comic book covers because they are. Those are nice. 
Here is um, issue, no, this is uh, Marvel Must Haves. I think this is the consolidation of several books featuring issues one through three right there. So it's a consolidation of some of them. And then here is a jump. I jumped the shark there. Here is issue number two right there. And you can probably figure out what's coming up next. That is issue number three. So it is basically the full run. Uh, issues one, two, three. Uh, it was four, four, five, six. There we go. That is basically the full run. And then he also sent over uh, the, the Marvel must have, I guess, the reprint of a couple of those issues one through three. So I'm going to tell you right now, that stack right there, one through six, that is staying right in the PC. Somebody, somebody will get this one. This is the one that I will pass back to the comic book community. Uh, the, the, this stack right here, this is going to go in my uh, Spider-Man miscellaneous uh, folder or, or bin that is sitting over there. So that's where those will go. Very cool. Matt Woods, I want to say thank you, brother, for hooking me up. Some really cool books there. And like I said, this, this cover looks super familiar. It is super familiar, but there's parts of it that I don't really remember. But uh, I'm going to go over there and dig in the bin and see... See if I can find that. But I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I definitely want to encourage you uh, to explore the other content that is on the channel. I've spent a lot of time over the last couple of days updating and refreshing some of the playlists that are on the channel. And what I've tried to do is to make sure that the playlists are organized around the theme and that the videos that are contained within that playlist are applicable. And I've tried to organize them in such a way that it actually makes sense. So if you are looking for videos on how to clean and press comics, I have those. If you like the interviews that I do, I have a playlist set up of interviews. I have one set up just for comic book hauls, one set up for uh, hunting videos. So if, if there is content that you enjoy or if there's com content that you're looking for, I probably have a playlist set up for it. So I definitely want to encourage you guys to explore the content that is on the channel. As someone pointed out to me the other day, I have now over 900 videos on the channel, which is part of what motivated me to go back and look at the playlist and to make sure that I have them somewhat organized and and, uh, and ready for people to be able to find. So if you like, for example, if you are new to collecting or newly returning to collecting and you're looking for like terminology and where to begin with this hobby, I have playlists that are actually set up for you guys, and some of those are actually in the description of this video, and I definitely want to encourage you to kind of explore that. So with that said, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, I want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comments section. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so, and you can do it on Instagram, which is my preferred mechanism for, for contact, and and the uh, screen name is Reggie Collects on IG. Take care. Oh, you know what? Um, you may have seen me at the beginning of the video put up that really cool book back there. So let me grab that. This book could be yours. This is actually Action Comics number 399. And this is is this week's Go Collect giveaway book. And this is actually a really cool book because it includes a Superboy story from 1971, but it's also a super high grade copy from 1971. This is a 9.6 with white pages. I just had a conversation with someone the other day that was asking whether it was even possible to have a book from the 60s and 70s that could have white pages. There you go. This again is Action Comics number 399 from 1971 featuring a Superboy story, 9.6 with white pages and a really cool cover and story at that. So if you are interested in picking up this book, all you have to do is head over to the community tab. And once you get to the community tab, you want to look for a post in which I'm talking about this week's Go Collect giveaway. And you will find a link the link will be active and you click on that link, you go to MailChimp and you plug in a couple of pieces of information. Two of them are relevant to you and one of them is a phrase that I'll give you in just a moment. 
To enter the contest, all that I ask is that you be a subscriber of the channel, a resident of the United States, a resident of Canada, or you have a mailing address in the US. That's all that you need to basically get into the running. You then tune into the Ready, Set, Go preview show, which airs on Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time to find out if you are the winner. Winners have one week to actually claim their prize. And all you have to do if you are the winner is to send an email to me when I dub you the winner. Send an email to me at Reggie at ReggieCollects.com with your real name, your screen name, your mailing address, and a couple of other pieces of information that I'll tell you about uh, in the Ready, Set, Go preview show. You send that over to me. I bundle this up. And then I send it to you. So the phrase, the phrase that you want to plug in is dead, dead. It is two words, dead, dead. That is the phrase with a space in between. Drop that into the MailChimp frame, hit the submit button, and now you are in the running. So with that, I want to wish all of you good luck and I'll see you very soon.